Luis Gonzalez with Becker Avionics. A new product rolled out here at NBAA and it's targeted at the fixed wing market. Tell us about that. Well, we're very excited to be here. And uh, this particular product, it's part of our DVCS 6100, our digital ICS. And this particular panel, the ACU 6100, is targeted at the general aviation, the fixed wing market. And we're real excited. What is new and different about this product? Well, the particular product, we took a lot of feedback from our, our customer base. And over the years, we've seen a lot of folks wanting different features, and they have a lot of problems with analog audio. And we said, okay, we, we have an answer for the digital audio. Now, as we went into the fixed wing environment, there was a moment that we said, hey, we have to change our panel. And those particular items were switching for normal and emergency, microphone mass switching, a marker mute, and just the flexibility to with software configure a product and, and have different features and options on and off with software. So it it's, makes things easy for the user and for the installer. What is different about the fixed wing market as compared to the rotary wing market? That's a very good question. Well, first of all, the rotary wing market just beats the snot out of a product. A lot of vibration, a lot of cycles. And we typically design our products for the rotary wing market and we, we, we try to use the most rigid certification methods we can to, to really make a robust product. So by default, by bringing that type of philosophy down to the fixed wing environment, we're, we're benefiting and so is the, the, the fixed wing user. Well, the, the ACU uh, 6100 panel, it has eight transceivers across the top and eight receivers across the bottom. We have a marker mute, a voice filter, speaker, you turn speaker on and off, and an ISO call key to isolate cockpit from cabin. Now, all these features on here are software selectable where you can turn things on and off and customize. Now, these labels down here, it's user selectable. That means uh, you tell us what you want on there, these things can be swapped out, printed up on the spot, and, and you're good to go. You have your transmit select here off to the center, Vox key, normal an emergency for modes of operation, and your mic select. You have your standard mic and your mass mic. Master volume, intercom volume. So the panel's available in a horizontal layout or a vertical layout, and the idea is to assist in retrofits. So to facilitate an, an easy retrofit, depending on how the aircraft is laid out, you can either drop it in vertically or, or horizontally. The, the system works on a digital CAN bus interface. So you have one box, which is the RU. The RU is a black box that sits somewhere in avionics bay. And you can have up to six panels scattered throughout the aircraft. They all interconnect via the CAN bus. It's a serial interface. And it reduces wire immensely. All the analog audio stops at the RU. Everything else is just CAN bus. Or in the legacy world, that didn't happen. You had analog wiring all over the aircraft. So that's a huge advantage, just inherent to the architecture of the system. What kind of airplane do you see as being your target market? What kind of customer? And what will that do for him or her? In business aviation, the panel has the flexibility to scale down to just two panels. And you have all the advantages and benefits of, of the digital ICS. So you're going to get rid of noise and all those issues which are common in, in an analog system. And you're going to improve in weight. Now, if you moved into special mission aircraft, where you're an EMS operator or some sort of special mission, whether it's ISR, or law enforcement, something of that nature, the radio requirements are much more complex. So you have radio requirements up front for the pilot and the co-pilot in the flight deck. But in the cabin, you also have stations which, which require communication. And with a, a panel in the back, a panel in the front, maybe a couple panels in the back, and, and you go up to six panels throughout those aircraft. So scalability is really the, the name of the game. You unveiled this product here at NBAA in Las Vegas. When does it come to market? We'll be able to ship March next year. Luis Gonzalez, Becker Avionics, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. Thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate your time. Aero TV is brought to you by... The DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls 
and the straight and level mode provides one button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety. Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and Beach Bonanzas and Barons. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC-90.